Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your evening weather forecast. Hope you guys had a wonderful Wednesday out there. As we look forward to your Thursday, I'm going to have a weather forecast for you guys. Let to know what to expect as you head out the door to go to school and work tomorrow. And we got another couple storms that is working its way across the Midwestern portion of the nation and across the South as well. We have one storm up here in the Great Lakes that is spreading rains and snow through the Midwest and we have that snow across the upper Great Lakes and the upper Midwest as well. So we're going to be seeing snow across Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the upper peninsula of Michigan. But down to the south of our area of low pressure, we're seeing those rain showers that are coming all the way up into southern Michigan, southern Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana, and then further to the south. We're seeing those thunderstorms out there, and some of that weather is going to be severe, a lot of severe weather weather is going to be possible with this storm system as well. So let's take a look at our next map as we talk about that potential for those severe thunderstorms tonight into Oklahoma. And this is going through about 10 o'clock central time tonight. We're going to be looking at the potential for severe weather through portions of North Texas, north of the Dallas-Fort Worth, and into central Oklahoma. That includes Tulsa, uh, Oklahoma City, and down through the Dallas. Fort Worth area and we can see that potential for severe thunderstorms tonight and our primary threats is going to be some isolated tornadoes damaging wind some hail and some flash flooding as well from some of those heavier thunderstorms that are going to move through the area tonight and then we're going to be looking at our severe thunderstorm threat for today and into the evening hours. We're going to be seeing those thunderstorms all the way down here into Louisiana, through Arkansas and Missouri. And that's going to spread over into northwestern Mississippi, eastern Tennessee, and Kentucky. This is where we can really see our potential for more severe weather. We have a, a bigger threat across this region here where we can be seeing that likelihood of tornadoes especially some nighttime tornadoes is going to be possible in this area and we can be seeing the potential for F2 tornadoes so strong tornadoes are possible with this storm system a very large hail maybe it's possibly some gorilla hail might be possible that's going to be that very big hail the we're talking about hail the size of quarters or bigger and we're going to be seeing heavy rain that can definitely lead to some flash flooding and we're going to be seeing gusty winds as high as 80 miles per hour is going to be possible with this region of severe weather that we're going to be dealing with up here through portions of the uh, deep south down across the Mississippi River Valley. So uh, a lot of severe weather that we're going to be worrying about tonight. And as we move into our this is where we're going to be seeing that tornado threat tonight. We're going to be seeing it here across portions of Tennessee through Arkansas, Mississippi, and southern Missouri, and a portion of Louisiana as well, northern Louisiana. We could be seeing those tornadoes tonight. And again, that nocturnal tornado threat is going to exist for you folks. So especially around 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock and midnight tonight, be watching those weather forecasts and keep an eye out for that potential for overnight tornadoes with these severe thunderstorms that's going to be moving through this evening. And we're going to also be looking at our severe storm, storm threat into Thursday, and we have a very likely category of severe storms down here through portions of Mississippi, Alabama, as well as through Central Tennessee, Kentucky, all the way up into Southern Ohio and Indiana, that potential exists for that severe weather is going to be likely and tornadoes can be possible all the way up into the portions of the southern Midwest out there through uh, the Ohio Valley. We can see the potential for some severe thunderstorms. Whereas this, we have this our frontal boundary moving to the east here. So we're going to be looking at that severe weather take place on their day tomorrow and into the evening hours.
And now we also have wintry weather with this storm system, and we're looking at a lot of wind out there across portions of the southern plains and through the desert southwest and over into California where we're going to be seeing a winter uh, high wind warnings and high wind watches in effect across portions of the southern plains, the desert southwest. We have uh, those winds that we're going to be seeing exceeding uh, the 30 to 40 miles per hour range here through the Midwest and the southern plains. And then here across the, uh, the I would call this area of the Southern Rockies, where we're going to be seeing those winds up to 60 miles an hour. We're going to be looking at those winds on I-40 going through Gallup, New Mexico and Santa Fe. We're going to be looking at those winds exceed 60 miles per hour. And uh, also down here in Southern California. Now what's going on in Southern California is where we're seeing a bit of an offshore flow here. So we're going to be looking at Santa Ana winds possibly across Southern California as well as we have that cold air that's going to be coming down off of the Sierra Nevada and coming down from the northern Rockies. That cold air is going to be dropping down into the southwest here and it's going to go offshore. So we're going to see a little bit of a Santa Ana wind situation and those winds can be quite high. We can see those gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour. And over here through the Midwest and through the Great Lakes and the Southern Mississippi River Valley and the Mid-Mississippi River, River Valley as well, we're going to be seeing that potential for those winds to be 30 to 40 miles per hour again. So we're going to have a high wind advisory for that area. So we're also looking at a little bit of snow. We're going to be seeing snow across the Midwest and the Northern Plains tonight. So uh, Upper Peninsula of Michigan, we're talking Northern Minnesota, uh, North and South Dakota, Northern Wisconsin, you can see a touch of snow yet. We're not going to be seeing a whole lot of accumulations. We might see a max accumulation of three to five inches over here through portions of uh, South Dakota, but we're going to be looking at primarily one to three inches so a quick hitting round of snow down here across the uh the upper midwest and the northern plains tonight and we're also going to be talking about snow across the southern rockies and through colorado so right here through colorado springs and down over into the southeastern colorado we're going to be looking at a few inches of snow across that region another three to five inches down across that region is going to be possible as we have our tail end of our area of low pressure here that's going to be a bit of snow across the southern Rockies and into the southern plains. And this is what we're going to be seeing for your day tomorrow on Thursday. That snow is going to be dropping down through Mississippi. Not through Mississippi, but from Michigan down through Wisconsin, uh, northern Illinois, we're going to be seeing that snow. And we're also going to be seeing it through central and southern Iowa, northern Missouri. We're going to be seeing that snow uh, through portions of Nebraska and down into Kansas. So a nice swath of snow here across the Midwest. And we're going to be looking at primarily five to eight inches on a higher end with some of this snow. So uh, definitely going to be some tr tricky travel conditions out there and my name is Mr. G that is your weather forecast so please be careful as we deal with this next wicked storm system that's really gonna really have a high impact down across the south and into the Gulf Coast where we're gonna be seeing that severe weather a little bit lighter as far as the snowfall is concerned with this guy but it's still gonna create some travel problems out there so please be careful on those highways across the upper Midwest and into the northern plains my name is Mr. G thanks for watching this weather forecast leave your likes comments and subscribe on youtube follow me on tiktok have a good night see you guys all tomorrow in the next forecast bye, -bye.